Okay, well, apologies in advance for what I am about to say. In the height of the summer, I am about to use the C word, Christmas. I'm sitting here in a hall looking at a Christmas tree. Yes, I know. It's bizarre, isn't it? With the heat outside being about the peak that we've had for the year, and here we are inside with a Christmas tree. There is a very good reason for it. Magdalena Stetchman has the reason. She is here with a camera. We've talked before, haven't we, when you photographed um, a bundle of people for a, uh, a series of photos in March, which was specifically people with Down syndrome. That was a very specific thing. I guess the Christmas tree means that you're doing also doing something specific now. Yes, I do. We are preparing for downright amazing Christmas, our second campaign uh, this year. And um, we are going to prepare an advent calendar, a Christmas cards and a special Christmas video with amazing wishes from 24 models with Down syndrome to be sent to the world. That is wonderful. There's no getting away from the C word, is there? We've got to just keep saying Christmas and I can only keep apologising for it. But I guess you have to think this far ahead when you're thinking of a project for December. You've got to start doing it in July. I do, and there is a good reason behind it. First of all, uh, summer is coming. Most of our models are going for holidays, so we will not be doing anything um, during summer holidays uh, for that reason. And um, we also need time for editing uh, both photos and videos. And ideally, we want them ready for September to approach our sponsors to to um, and send them to printers. So we ha we want to have all ready for this Christmas by October, ideally. So what? how did it actually come about, th this whole idea? The whole idea started in January this year. And that so was... So you were thinking about Christmas in January? <laughs> Correct. And that was because I was shooting a downright amazing uh, campaign for um, Down Syndrome Awareness Day in March. That's when we talked before, yes. Yes. So already that time I was thinking about next campaign and I thought it would be lovely to do something Christmassy. And uh, because I was still in Christmas mood, it was end of January, I thought, yes, we can do Christmas. And um, I love Christmas, so why not right, you know, going around the town with Christmas tree? <laughs> People look at me a little bit, uh, you know, that strange look. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. How did the idea come about in the first place? Where, where did the, the whole thing about uh, models with Down syndrome? That started in March 2018. It was the time when I was just learning photography and I was photographing um, my little neighbor, Cara, who happened to have Down syndrome. And she inspired me to, to, to make another session. And, 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 and suddenly 22 models appeared for <laughs> Down syndrome awareness day. So that, that all started. And the fact that I have sister with Down syndrome okay. and my grandfather was a photographer and my mum was doing a lot of for children with Down syndrome. Um, it all just happened that matches and, and, and I just wanted to continue the work of my mum and my, my grandfather. Mm. I don't want to generalise because I know there are as many different people with Down syndrome as there are people with Down syndrome. But uh, in general, is it any different photographing people with Downs as opposed to people without? The main difference is that the families with uh, children with Down syndrome are way more organised, are <laughs> way more easy to cooperate. When I ask them to come at certain time, they come 15 minutes earlier, they're never late. There is a bigger pleasure to work, to work with people with Down syndrome and they are always happy and lovely and smiley. <laughs> Magdalena is saying that um, smiling at Kira, who is sitting next to her, who you just finished your session, haven't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. What was that like? It was great. What's she like to be photographed by? It'd be by my mum. 
Just like being photographed by your mum. Yes. <laughs> I did hear that you want to be a professional model. Yes. So is this the first step? Yes. Where are you hoping to get to? I'll be hoping to get to New York in America. Oh, very specific. New York. It's got yes. to be. Yeah, and until you got to New York, you haven't made it. Yep. Well, having seen some of the original photos, some of the earlier ones, I think you're on the way. Thanks. You're going to be presumably on your own living room wall at Christmas, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Because I was born at uh, Christmas. Were you? I right. was. So it's your birthday as well? It would be on December 14th, but I'll be 18 years old then. So, let me think. Would it be too much to hope for, Magdalena, that Kira's photo is going to be on the December the 14th page of the calendar? It will be. I somehow thought it might. <laughs> and it I think, be. Kira, that you might find that it stays at December the 14th on that calendar for your yeah. house, won't it? I'll be 18 on my day. This whole thing is actually for charity, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. It is to raise down Down syndrome awareness. That's the first thing what we want to do. But also um, we have voted, our models' parents have voted to support Sparkles, again, a charity which is providing speech and language and occupational therapy and physiotherapy for children uh, with Down syndrome until age of five which is a charity that started about 20 years ago in Wickham. And I know this because, due disclosure, um, my youngest son was one of their very early um, clients and has benefited from it and is going great guns, so it's definitely worth, uh, worth supporting. Uh, but there are costs on there. Um, the, the earlier one, the, uh, the, the one in March, the photographs were published on the web and you had some prints as well. If you're selling cards and advent calendars, you've got a lot of printing to do. That is one of our current issues that we are trying to solve. So on the back of this campaign, we are also looking for sponsors who are willing to um, sponsor our printing costs and hiring this venue and other costs that are related to this campaign. So we can start collecting money um, for sparkles and for children with Down syndrome in Buckinghamshire and surrounding areas. There you go. It's the best of good causes. Support a local charity that does good work with people who need it and has a lifelong effect. And uh, if you are in a position to uh, sponsor the printing, I would think you probably get your sponsor name on the calendar. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah. And it will be a top quality product, I can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, Magdalena and Kira, thank you for your time this morning. Thank, thank you. you.